And we use integration by linear substitution for a question that looks like this. Uh, now, we've got the integral of some function, I don't care what that function is for now, uh, then some other function, g of x. Now that g of x has to be a linear function. So example, something like uh, 2x plus 1. All right, and that g of x is 2x plus 1, and it's being raised to some power. So an example of a question you might solve with integration by linear substitution would look like the integral of x squared times 3x minus 1 to the power of a half. You can see this follows this form here, where this is the f of x part, this is the linear g of x, the linear g of x, and it's being raised to some power. In this case, it's being raised to the power of a half, which is like a square root. All right, we're going to do a bunch of examples. So first example here, you can see it follows the pattern, f of x, g of x raised to some power to the power of a half. Now what we're going to do is take the linear bit that is being raised to some power, and we're going to let it equal u. And then we're going to find the derivative of that, like we have in the past, so dx equals 1, and we can say that dx equals du. Now, the other thing that we're going to realize is that u equals x plus 4, and we're going to use that in here by rearranging this u equals x plus 4 to be u minus 4 equals x. And now I'm going to be able to sub that in for x there. So when I write this whole thing out, it's going to look like integral 2 u minus 4 for where that x was plus 1. All right, that's our whole first bit done. And then we write this uh, as u to the power of a half, because there's a square root there. And then uh, instead of writing dx, we just write du. All right, that looks pretty good so far. Expanding that bracket gives me that, and you can see I can smoosh this bit together here. And now I have a bracket being multiplied by u to the half, so I can multiply that by that and that by that. Now, when I do that, that's u to the 1. When I multiply by u to the half, I get u to the 1 plus a half, which is u to the 3 on 2. And then negative 7 times u to the half with respect to u. Finally, I have two terms that I can integrate. So with this one, I'm increasing the power by 1. So 3 over 2 becomes 5 over 2. Dividing by 5 over 2 is the same as multiplying by 2 over 5 and 2 times 2 over 5 will be 4 over 5. And then here, I'm increasing the power by 1, so I get a 3 over 2. I'm dividing by 3 over 2, same as multiplying by 2 over 3. 7 times 2 over 3, 3. And don't forget your plus c on the end. Now that's perfectly okay. We can put some square roots in here, so we can say that's the same as 4 fifths uh, u to the 5 square root minus 14 over 3 uh, u to the 3 square root plus c. All right, so a sneaky one here. We do this same thing here, but we also rearrange u so that we could put it into that first term. Now, you might look at this second example and think, wait a minute, there's something over something. That's not like that. But remember, we can express this as 2x plus 1 in brackets, this in brackets, 1 minus 2x, and change the power from 2 to negative 2 when we move it to the top, and now we're in business. All right, so we've got a linear thing inside of a power. We can let that equal u. Now, if we let it equal u, we can find the derivative and then rearrange for dx, and we get this neat thing. And then the other little bit that we need to do is look at this and rearrange it for x. So I can say that uh, 2x equals 1 minus u, which means that x is equal to 1 minus u over 2. And now that I have that, I can sub that in to here, and I can uh, sub u into here, and for dx, I can sub that into there. So I've done the first little bit here, which is subbing 1 minus u over 2 uh, for the x, for the x right there. And now just a little plus 1 there, close the bracket. Now 1 minus 2x is going to be our u uh, to the negative 2. And then dx is going to get replaced with times, uh, let's write it as times negative a half du. Obviously that's the same as that. All right, so moving on to our next line here. The 2 and the 2, 2 times 1 minus u over 2. We're just going to get 1 minus u there and then plus 1. 
uh, all in brackets. And then here we're going to get u to the negative 2. Now that times a negative a half, I can move it to the front. That's going to make life a little bit easier. And we're going to get left with a du on the end. Now that 1 and that 1 is going to be 2. So this bracket's going to be 2 minus u. And then I'll be able to expand our brackets here. So I don't want to jump through too many steps. So that's 2 minus u. That's that. I'm going to expand that by multiplying that by that and multiplying that by that. So when I do that, I'm going to get negative a half integral 2 times u to the negative 2, negative u times u to the negative 2. That's like a 1 there. So that's going to make it um, negative u to the negative 1. And we're still doing with respect to u. Okay, we can integrate that and we can integrate that. Before I do it, I'll just make very clear here that this is 2u to the negative 2 and this is 1 over u uh, with respect to u. So that's going to give me an ln something, and that one we're going to integrate just by increasing the power by 1. All right, so we have negative a half, and then increase the power by 1. Uh, that's going to be uh, negative 1. Uh, divide by the new power. Uh, that's going to be dividing by negative 1, which is going to make that a negative 2. And then this is going to be ln u. And we're done. All right, what can I see? A negative a half times a negative two. Uh, that's going to be a positive. Uh, just need to be careful. That's being multiplied by the whole thing. All right, so a negative a half times a negative two. That makes a positive one. So I have u to the negative one. And a negative a half times a negative, I'm going to have a positive one half ln u. I really need to remember plus c and plus c. Uh, I can tidy this up a little bit. Uh, u to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over, and don't forget the u originally was 1 minus 2x. And we have a half ln, and u was originally 1 minus 2x. Uh, and then we have a little plus c on the end. All right, let's take a look at one more. So last one here, and you can see we've got a linear here inside of a square root, so linear to the power of a half, and then we've got this x squared out in front. So we're going to let our u equal that, we're going to find the derivative of that, and then we're going to rearrange it uh, to have x equals something. All right, so done, u equals that, the derivative, and then rearrange, dx equals that, and rearranging that, we get x equals that. And now we're going to substitute u into here, this whole thing into here, and this thing into here. So we get something that looks like that. The u plus 1 over 3 has been subbed in for x. The u has been subbed in for that. Instead of square root, we've got 2 power of a half. And instead of dx, we have 1 third du. Now, you can fall into a trap here of like really expanding this in, the, in a difficult way. What you really want to write is u plus 1 squared over 3 squared, which is 9. Well, that's 1 ninth u plus 1 squared. And we've still got our u to the half here. And then we've got this one third that I can bring out in the front. And I have this du here. That 9 can all, or that 1 ninth can also come out the front, which means that 1 ninth times 1 third is 127. And I might put that u to the half out the front, u to the half, and then we have this u plus 1 squared uh, with respect to u. All right. Um, Probably need to expand some stuff here so we can expand this bracket and then once we've expanded that bracket We'll multiply by that bracket. So expanding that u plus 1 gives us this thing here And now I'm going to do this times this this times this and this times this and I might do that one Up here now u to the half times u to the 2 is u to the half plus 2 uh, which is u to the 5 over 2 um, u to the half times 2u is going to be 2 u to the 3 over 2, right, 1, u to the 1 plus a half, and then we'll just have a plus a 1 times u to the half, which is u to the half, and all of that with respect to u. All right, I'm ready to integrate because I know how to integrate that, I know how to integrate that, I know how to integrate that. I have 1 over 27 times all of this. Uh, it's going to be increase the power by 1, so we get 7 over 2, divide by 7 over 2, is the same as multiplying by two sevenths. 
Um, increase the power by 1, I get u to the 5 over 2. Now, I'm dividing by 5 over 2. That's the same as multiplying by 2 over 5. And then I've got this 2 here. So that's going to be 4 over 5. And then u to the half, increasing, increasing the power by 1, I get 3 over 2. Dividing by 3 over 2, I get 2 over 3. And I have a plus c on the end. Now we can start tidying this up. This is the integral. I've integrated it, but let's make it neater. Uh, we've got 127. We've also got u to the 7 on 2, u to the 5 on 2, u to the 3 on 2. I can take u to the 3 on 2 out as a common factor. Now what I'm going to be left with is 2 sevenths u to the 4 on 2 because u to the 4 on 2 plus 3 on 2 is u to the 7 on 2. So u to the 4 on 2, and u to the 4 on 2 is squared, plus 4 fifths. Now, u to the 5 on 2, uh, that's going to leave me with u to the 3 on 2 times u to the 2 on 2, which is just u, and now I have 2 thirds, and u to the 3 on 2, u to the 3 on 2, I can just have a 2 thirds there. And I have a plus c. Okay, um, starting to see something happen here. Maybe I should make all the denominators the same. If all the denominators are the same, I can start to manipulate it in some way. So 3, 5, and 7. Uh, 7 times 5 is 35, times 3 is 105. I can make all the denominators 105. Now when I do that, I get this. It's getting funky, but it's also getting a little bit neater. We have 1 27th u to the 3 on 2, and then I can take a common factor here of, these are all even uh, numerators, so I can take 2 out on the top, but I can also take that 1 over 105 out as well. So I can take 2 over 105 out as a common factor. That's going to leave me with 15u squared plus 42u plus 35 there, and then this little plus C on the end. Now this is getting really wild here. Um, it's equal to two over, get my calculator out, 2,835. And we've still got that U to the three on two there. And then what are we gonna do with this? It's really worth noting that U isn't U, U is three X minus one. So we can now put 15, 3x minus 1 squared plus 42, 3x minus 1 uh, plus 35 plus C. Make sure I got my brackets everywhere. Yep. Now what I've done here is very rude because I've subbed in 3x minus 1 for you here and here, but not for there. So let's fix it. Now once we've got that, uh, we can expand this. So it's going to be 15 times 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 plus 42 times 3 is 126x minus 42 and then this plus 35 on the end and of course our little plus c on the end and then we can expand boom expand boom expand boom and after that it's just collecting like terms and if someone were rude enough to ask you this question and ask for it fully factorized, they'd probably be looking for something like this. Now, for matters of style, some people might tell you that the whole thing should be over 2,835. Some people might tell you that we should take that 2 over, two over 2,835 and put it out here. I've put a square root in there, but some people might like to keep a fractional power. It's a matter of taste. All right, uh, that's a bit hectic, but you can see we were actually... We integrated it by here. So if all you're attempting to do is integrate it, you can just sub in 3x minus 1 here, and you've got a perfectly workable answer that you can then use to do something like uh, calculate an area under a curve or something like that.